Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, if I look the same for my last video, is because I told you I'm gonna be watching all of these films as much as I can. So, <clears throat> we just finished Goodwill Hunting, and we're going into Pursuit of Happiness. As you guys know, I don't watch the trailer for these. I don't know what it's about. Um, I think I did catch a glimpse that it's based on a true story. So I don't know if that's going to hit my heart more. Um, and I saw the picture. I believe it's like a, it looks like a dad and a son. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I've heard, I've heard things about it. I know that it's sad or that it makes you cry. That's, that's all I know. I don't remember any details or anything like that. So I'm like nervous at the same time. We'll see how it goes. Um, this is also an exclusive pick from Patreon. If you'd like to be a part of choosing these exclusive films for me, you can subscribe to my Patreon. And uh, you will also gain access to all of my reactions. You will um, gain access to my full reactions. And you'll be a part of choosing these. You'll also gain access to our Discord and um or we have movie nights together also if you ever want to talk about the films uh i do stream on twitch all the links will be down below if you decide to just you know go check it out besides that again i don't really know much about this movie so as you guys know i'm always ready to dive into it uh from what i've heard it does make a lot of people cry so i'm i mean you guys know me already we're just gonna dive into it see how it see how it goes um let's 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 do it. I also find it interesting the way that they spelled happiness on the title of the movie. That's like the first thing I saw. Wow, they both they both played the they're both playing the father and the son. That's so awesome. That's so cool. That's so cool. That's awesome. Oh, I'm excited. Can we go to the park today? After? Um, we'll see. I'll talk to you later. He's so cute. <laughs> when is uh, somebody going to clean this off? And, and, and the why? The why? We talked about this. It's an eye. Portable bone density scanner. It gave a slightly denser picture than an x-ray for twice the money. Hmm. I needed to sell at least two scanners a month for rent and daycare. Oh, my. The problem is, I haven't sold any for a while. Wow, and this is based off a of true story, I forgot. For a second. And then go to work to turn things around. And we face runaway deficits of almost... Hmm. Huh. He was almost finished with it and didn't. And didn't. They all looked so damn happy to me. Why couldn't I look like that? Pursuit of happiness. <laughs> Stockbroker. Stockbroker. Yeah. Not an astronaut? Just sell what's in your contract. Get us out of that business. Linda, that is what I am trying to do. This is. What I'm trying to do for my family, for you and for Christopher. Linda. Linda. <sighs> this part of my life is called <clears throat> being stupid. Just like five minutes. I have a meeting in there and I don't want to carry that in there. Look at small time. No way. Dollar. <clears throat> I, I can't even sell it and it's my job. All right? Oh my. See, this is a satellite office. Jay Twistle, he's in the main office. He oversees with the resources. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm just this office. As you can see, we got a hell of a lot of applications here. So, uh, yeah, normally I have a, a resume sheet, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. Bring, I'll bring this back. Thank you. Okay. Oh my God! I hope. Trusting a hippie girl with my scanner. Why did I do that? Excuse me. Hey, don't move. Oh my. Bye, Mom. Bye. It's written as PPY, but it's supposed to be an I in happiness. Is that an adjective? 
Uh, no, actually, it's a noun, but it's not Interesting. Right. Is fuck spelled right? <gasps> yeah, that's spelled right, but that's not part of the motto. So you, we're paying you $150 a month. From around watching TV all day, we're taking him out of here. We'll pay more at the daycare if you don't like Navy TV. They pay anyway, you complain. I complain. That's hard, man. It's so crazy how money revolves around... I was going to say. I wonder. It's called running. I wonder why he like screams at them because then they'll know that he's chasing after them. Hey, man, uh, I, uh. I'm surprised he didn't like say anything. I would have been. Did you forget? I've been. Forget what? You're not supposed to have any of those. Yeah, I know. You have two now. <laughs> Relax. We're gonna come out of this. Everything is gonna be fine, all right? You said that before. When I got pregnant, it'll be fine. So you don't trust me now? Whatever. I don't care. I think that's like yeah, one of my I, biggest I, like fears. Chris Gardner? Yeah, hi. Listen, what can I do? Like being, you know, being with I, your partner for so long and then somehow something getting in a way to where you struggle. Your relationship because <clears throat> of it. I'm, I'm used to being in a position where where I have to make decisions, and Mr. Twistle, listen, this is this is a very important. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This thing's impossible. I can do it. No, you can't. No one can. It's bullshit. Let me see it. Give it here. The centerpiece has never moved. So if it, if it's yellow in the center, that's the yellow side. Right. It, Interesting. I, I don't believe you can do this. Yeah, I can. I can. No, you can. I'm telling you, no one can. Oh, shh. <laughs> That's so interesting. All from my Rubik's Cube. I was gifted to this one. Wow, he did it like. His life was like depending on it. Wait. What about. What about. Oh, no. I'm not scared he's gonna be like running behind him. <laughs> oh no. Who's that guy? I'm on my way right now. Are you, are you all right with, with Christopher? I'm leaving. Chris, I'm leaving. What? Did you hear what I said? I had my things together. And I'm taking our son. And we're going to leave now. I'm going to put the phone down. Linda, I'm going wait to leave. a minute. Hold we on. We are leaving. Oh, God. Get the hell out of here then, Linda. Get the hell out of here. Christopher is staying with me. You're the one that dragged us down to this. Do you hear me? You are so weak. No, I am not happy anymore. I'm just not happy. Then go get happy, Linda. Just go get happy. But Christopher is living with me. Did yeah. you hear what I said? <gasps> Christopher's living with oh, me. I got so scared that she was going to get ran over. Holy mother of pearl. I was like, she's so negative, but goodness gracious, I don't. I was scared something's going to happen. I don't want to say negative, but it's just like so. I mean, the struggle hey. and like both of it's just. Let's go. Hey, this is true. Hi. It's crazy to think because some people will find it either just negative and realistic and matter of perspective. Chris Gardner. Oh shh. Uh, yeah. What happened? We verify 9:30 tomorrow morning. What? Yeah, you got to stay until this thing clears. No. I have a job interview at Dean Witter at 10.15 tomorrow morning. I cannot 9 stay here. 9.30 tomorrow morning. What am I supposed to do with my son? What am I supposed to do with my son? Is there anyone else who can take care of him? I take care of him. Maybe we can go and have social services pick him up. Uh, can I make, have my phone call, please? 
How is he? He's fine. All right, just all right. Take him to the park and and bring him back. All right, all right just bring me bring me my son back. Okay. Linda. I'll bring him back around six. Oh. All right. Oh. All right. Um. Thank you. Um. God, it just feels like everything's like against him. I'm okay. He has like paint and stuff. Mm. Oh god, those are all the people that are waiting for an interview. Holy so hectic. <laughs> How are you? Chris Gardner. Chris Gardner. Good to see you again. Chris Gardner, pleasure. Oh, crap. I've been sitting out there for the last half hour trying to come up with a story that would explain my being here dressed like this. And, and I wanted to come up with a story that would demonstrate qualities that I'm sure you all admire here, like, like earnestness or diligence. And so the truth is, Oof. I was arrested for failure to pay <clears throat> parking tickets. Parking tickets? How many times have you seen Chris? You know, I don't know. One too many, apparently. Does he ever <laughs> dressed like this? No. What would you say if a guy walked in for an interview without a shirt on? And I hired him. What would you say? He must have had on some really nice pants. <laughs> 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 One intern was hired at the end of the program from a pool of 20. Oh, goodness. If you weren't that guy, I got him. I got him. He's asleep. Okay, baby. I don't know how many times I've sighed in this movie, but like it's the anxiety and like the stress that it, the struggle that they're going through is. What are you going to do for money? I got to interview at Dean Witter for, for an internship, and I got it. So I'm gonna stand out in my program. Salesman to interns backwards. No, it's not. I gotta go. That's hard, man. He just kind of like taking it. <clears throat> I was like, no. I know you'll take care of him, Chris. I know that. That's hard. I'm just thinking about her because I know how hard it is, obviously, that she has to leave her son and stuff, but it's the has that is really like, you know? Dean Witter. Yes, hi. Uh, In my head, like when you have a family and you have a husband and you, you know, you're together, it's like you go through everything together. There's no turning back, I guess. I don't know. I just have a different view on that. But I know how difficult that struggle is when it comes to, you know. I'd be very pleased to accept your invitation. Is that all? Yes, that's that's it. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Um, <clears throat> when you're struggling with things like this. It's just crazy to think like what, you know, what you do with the perspective that you have and your output on the situations that you're in and how you go about them is so, I don't know, it's so important to what comes what may come to you. Hey, don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. All right? You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. Hmm. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, you want one of those? Oh, it's okay. Come on, you got one. Which one? <laughs> Still a pain in the ass. It's funny what you remember. I've so seen an old friend of mine. Uh, do, you, do you mind? No, oh, go ahead. Right, good talking to you, sir. That's so interesting that every time he lost one, he finds it. Just goes after it. He's a go-getter. And he was the one waiting at the bus stop. <laughs> I mean, the train. Hey, man, 
Glad you're missing a shoe. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No, I got hit by a car. You got hit by a car? <laughs> yep, yep, I was running in the street. Don't do that, you can get hurt. <laughs> yeah. Then catch the bus by four to the place where they can't spell happiness. Then the crosstown. Wow. The 22 home. They'd stay till seven, but I had Christopher. I had to do in six hours what they'd do in nine. Wow, oh my. Tris, what's up? Hey, Mr. Frakish. Hey, man, do you have five minutes? Actually, I just got a green light from Walter Ribbon. Because I have no minutes. I'm supposed to present commodities to Bromer. Could you move my car that really... Holy fudge. It's on Samson, half lock, silver caprice. Just move it to the other side of Samson. There's street sweeping. There's spaces. Is Hang he going to use his car? I have backups in my desk. And the other doors don't unlock. You have to jimmy it. I wonder if he'll use it. You gotta risk it. I don't know. <laughs> Did he use it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my. Then possibly we'll go to the football game. Really? But possibly. Are you sure? <laughs> possibly. Really? <laughs> Hi. Hey, Christopher. Uh, what, what, what are you doing up here? Uh, I came to apologize for missing our appointment the other day. Oh, you need to come up? Oh, no, actually, we were in the neighborhood visiting a very close friend of ours, and, and I, I just wanted to take this opportunity to <laughs> say thank you for your time. I know you probably waited for me. Hey, you guys want to come with us? What, uh, to Candlestick? We're going now. Come with us. Where are your seats? Uh, we have, uh, we are upper deck. We got a box. Come on. You want to sit in the box? Yeah, okay, uh, sure, sure. We don't have a car. Ah! Oh, my, ah. What happened? I think I got stung by a bee. You all right? Oh, yeah, ah, uh, goodness, I'm fine, I'm fine. You're Does it hurt? Hey, Christopher, I'm, I'm fine. Let me see. Christopher. <laughs> Pacific Bell pension money, which was millions. Yeah! It was a way to another place. That's so crazy. Yo, Chris, I didn't have any notion that you were new over there. And I like you, but there's not a chance I'm gonna let you direct our fun. It's just not gonna happen anytime soon, buddy. So, you know, come on, relax. Let's play the game. Go, go, go! Yeah! Seemed we were doing good till one day that letter brought me back to Earth. Oh, the taxes. If you didn't pay them, the government could stick their hands into your bank account and take your money. <sighs> no warning. Dad, look at me! Dad! Should I go? Sure, man, why not? <gasps> Wait, go what? Do what? Oh. I'm like scared. Stay here, Christopher. Dad, look. No, no, stay right Dad. here. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear me? I want to see Jimi Hendrix do that guitar on fire. Oh, he got it back. Chris? Yes? Dr. Tell can't get back to me. I'm sorry. Oh, wow, dude. This thing's like a roller coaster. Just... <sighs> Chris, just come back when it's working. No, no I, have, I, have, I have to fix it now. No. Look, I'll still be putting money into the office then. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I'll see you soon. It's so crazy to see that in any situation that he kind of goes through where things just don't seem to go his way, he doesn't... Like, he has frustration, but he doesn't get angry to the point where it's... Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm, like, looking... I can't think of the right word right now, but... Just the way that he handles situations. Oh, Why are things here? Dad. Dude. Did you hear what I said? Let's go. Open the door! Dad! Stop it. Stop it. Come on. 
Come on. <sighs> All we gotta do is push this black button right here. You wanna push it? <sighs> okay. Come on, man. Just with, like everything that's going on, you know? We gotta find someplace safe. Like what? Um, we gotta find a cave. Come on. Come on. Come on. Watch your back. Look out. Here it is. Here's a cave. Come on. Right here. Right here. Go, go, go. He's five years old. Hi, baby. You need some place to stay. Okay. And I would love to help you, but no. we don't take men here. It's only women and children. No, no, no. He can stay here. Come Eddie, on. Ellison Jones. God, that's so heartbreaking. It's like the differentiation. I also love that they put that scene in right before hey, showing them in. Fancy car and then laughing and then... Sliced in front of him in line. Who did? Who did? Come on, come on, Rodney. Come on, let's come. Get out of line. The way he like. <sighs> the way he like fights for everything. Lucha. It's like admiring. What's your favorite color? Green. Just he just keeps on. He just keeps on. He's like doing everything. Like that's absolutely everything. I learned to finish my work quickly. I had to finish quickly. Get in line at Glide by five. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> so did you finish the whole thing or you have to go somewhere? I, I, I have to go somewhere, man. But I finished the whole thing, too. Oh, good. You? Yeah. How, what did, how'd you feel about the graphs? Easy. Like, what did you write? I say question. Uh, on the back. <laughs> Chris, you got five bucks? I left my wallet up there. Let me go run up, run up and grab that for you, Mr. Frog. No, I gotta be at Cal Bank at four and I'm late. I'll pay you back, honestly. Five is, five is good? Five is lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. <sighs> Did mom leave because of me? What? Did mom leave because of me? Don't, don't even think something like that. Mom left because of mom, and you didn't have anything to do with that, okay? Okay. You're a good papa. You guys are killing me. <laughs> so far, so good, Chris. Thank you very much. $250. Four more weeks of oxygen. 100. 20. 40. Anything else? No, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> He's like. So, one more day. Get nervous? No, I'm, all, I'm okay. Yeah? Listen, whatever happens. You've done a fantastic job, Chris. I mean that. Take care of yourself. No, sir, that's it. Thank you very much. 
Chris, come. Hi, Chris. Mr. Fromm, good to see you. Nice shirt. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Chris. <laughs> I thought I'd uh, wear a shirt today, um, you know, being the last day and all. Well, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. But um, wear one tomorrow, though, okay? Because tomorrow's going to be your first day. <laughs> oh, shit. If you'd like to work here as a broker. Would you like that, Chris? Yes, sir. Good. We couldn't be happier. So, welcome. Was it as easy as it looked? No, sir. No, no, sir, it wasn't. <laughs> Good luck, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Chris. I almost forgot. <laughs> This part of my life, this little part, is called happiness. So good. <laughs> Who's the king of the jungle? Gorilla. The gorilla? <laughs> the gorilla. Hey, Dad, listen to this. Knock, knock. Nobody who? All right, so we're done with this one. Um, first of all, what a story. I, if anybody, I'm sure there's a, there has to be a book written about it, I'm assuming, right? Because I, if there is, I'd really love, that was shaken. Um, I'd really love to read it. The endurance that this man has is absolutely incredible. Thank you. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. Um, and it's crazy. And it's crazy that um, throughout the film, you kind of go along with him in his journey. And it's also kind of crazy because I don't know if the first time that you guys have seen it, but going through it. Bella. Come here. Um, going through it, she lost my train of thought. Um, I got it. So what I was going to say is, I don't know if you guys felt that way when you guys first watched the movie, but as he keeps stumbling upon um, like very hard situations throughout this time, we always, I mean, for me, I, I, I expected... <laughs> Bless you. I expect, I don't know what's going on with it right now. I expected a lot of positive things to start showing. Um, and I think I just expected it so soon. Like, I guess I'm so used to just being like, okay, this is something good. This is going to happen. And I would like this, something bad happens. So it's like the equivalence of, okay, something's good about to happen. And it's just like, I keep going on this roller coaster of emotions that like I want to happen, I guess you could say. Um, but throughout the entire thing is just like one thing after the other and the other and the other and he is on like he does everything in his, absolutely everything in his power to to you know take care of the son take care of himself um tried to keep the wife happy um which also kind of was hard for me because watching the mother leave uh after all of that and that's why i kind of talked about it in the beginning of the film because my perception when it comes to that is like, you know, when 
married and you have your partner and you have a family, it's like you go through all of these things together, whether it's about money, whether it's about faith, whether it's about hope, whether it's about, you know, sickness and all of that stuff. So it was like hard to see that, you know, of course they were in a really, really, really tough spot. And yeah, maybe he, maybe they both had this like hopeful thing and, <clears throat> you know, coming from him from the beginning of the story, how he was trying to sell them. So he went into this company and, you know, he had this hope and this faith to make a lot of money from it. And I was really excited, um, you know, and she obviously supported it. But I think it also comes with the ups and downs of it. So the fact that, you know, it didn't, didn't end up working and she was doing most of the, uh, how do I say it? Most of the holding the home together, I guess, because I know he wasn't really making a lot of money when he was with her. <clears throat> I still think it just, it was, it sucked to watch her walk away from all of it because, you know, I'm sure it was completely different when in person and, you know, and the film was very short. <clears throat> but um, just being able to leave her son and just leave that behind. I mean, I know how hard it is. And I mean, I don't want to say because I haven't gone through it, but, you know, I can try to put myself, you know, in their shoes as best I can. And um, it just sucked to see that she walked away from all of that because she was exhausted, you know. And he just kept going and going and going. And then I also found it interesting because this is my this is my perspective on it. But the way that or the fact that when she left, because I think I've. As I was watching the film, at least like half of it. While she before she left, all of the events that occurred beforehand, it was like. It just seemed like negative things just kept on occurring you know just kept happening kept happening kept happening and even the way that she would respond to him and about the situation and about what they were going through and about the way that she felt and the way he you know like everything was just so like i don't know if passive aggressive is the word but it's just very negative that's the best word i can i can use and the moment that she did decide to leave them he Slowly but surely, he was, he, I don't know, I felt like he didn't have someone to, to, I guess, lower his faith. I don't know how to explain that. Um, but that's what I kind of took, took from it. Um, because it was very, all just very low, 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 low. And then she left and things started to happen because he was, I don't know, like he was just, Free to do anything and even though even though yes it got worse because he lost i mean he he couldn't pay the rent he did the motel um you know he was losing the line in the in the in the rooms thing i don't know exactly what it's called but even though all of those bad things kept happening there was good stuff that that he was striving for um um <clears throat> he was yeah i guess you could say like pursuing it um and he knew like he had a set goal in his mind you know and even though um he just wanted to be able to take care of his son and you know be able to be comfortable i guess you can say because they were going through a lot of hardships and struggles but um goodness the 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 things he did and the time frames and and even even you know the part and there's like the little scenes that he did where you can say like wow like i wonder if it put in like for me i was thinking like well if i was put in that position would i do that like would i genuinely you know if if i had a son and all i had was like seven bucks in my wallet and i'm doing my best on you know all of this and there's my boss or what or you know that guy and he's like i need five bucks you know because he's he was getting them coffee and donuts and so on and so on and he gave it to him so like those little parts about how he kept on giving and giving and giving and he was doing everything in his power just to keep everyone happy and it was just like absolutely insane to go through that story because it's it's um it's very inspirational and it's very like it was very hard to watch um just to see how much he was struggling and how many things he had to take care of and it's also funny that all of the the things that he was selling every time it would get stolen or taken or 
forgotten or whatever, he would always be able to take it back because he would go after it. He wasn't just looking at it and saying, oh, whatever. But it was just like he had this goal set in mind and he would go, go, go after like one thing after the other. So and then the part that hit me the most was his son saying that he was a good because uh, especially with everything that he's going through um, and having to take care of him and having to, you know, as a man, have the home and have have the money to be able to take care of the home. And um, what's what's the word I'm looking for? I thought of it. Um, the word I was looking for was provide. Um, and I just kind of think of him as, you know, like as the man not being able to provide and knowing that um, the mother left because of the fact that she was exhausted about the whole thing and, you know, so on and so on. Um, but in my head, I just kind of thought that, you know, because of the fact that he probably felt like he wasn't doing enough in all aspects, you know, he was doing his best and he kept on pushing and pushing and pushing. But I'm sure that he felt like he wasn't doing enough for his son and he was he wasn't enough for the mother's stay and um, like just with everything. So l listening to his son say that he was a good papa, that really that really made my heart swell and made me emotional because that's that's the hard part because I, I I can't imagine like how hard he must have been on himself to keep pushing and pushing and pushing through all of that and like fixing uh fixing the I keep forgetting the scanner thing to um to get money from it and then you know not having the car and lo just losing everything so yeah there's a lot I could say about this movie but that's what I kind of got from it um yeah oh, I could keep going um but anyway, we're done with this one. Thanks guys, you love to watch me cry. It's beautiful, um, it's awesome. Anyway, so I will see you guys for the next one. I believe we have um, Star Wars, Clone Wars, as well as the show to get done. And we're gonna be starting Game of Thrones, which I'm excited and kind of nervous about. So we'll see if, uh, get through some episodes so we can get that started on uh, but besides that I'll see you guys for the next one and for being here make sure to rest make sure to stay hydrated and make sure to eat and 